So today we're talking about dividing by four. This isn't going to be a long lesson because you've done this before. You know what dividing is. <clears throat> Remember, dividing is just the op opposite of multiplication. In a multiplication problem, you have two factors and you're multiplying by them to get an answer. In a division problem, it's just the opposite. It's you have the answer and you're dividing it into a group and you want to know how many are going to be in each group. So multiplying and dividing are opposites. And when you're dividing by four, you just want four groups. And you're gonna figure out how many are gonna be in each group if you have four groups. So 12 divided by four equals three because the multiplication problem, that's the opposite, you just flip them, is three times four equals 12. So we're gonna look at your page, your math page. We're on page 284, and we're going to do uh, one and two together, because um, uh, I want you to understand the concept. So the first one, it says six times four equals 24. We're gonna turn this into a division problem. We just flip it. So we have 24 divided by four, Put in the four groups. How many is going to be in each group? Six. You're just flipping them. Okay, your next one is five times four equals 20. To make that a division problem, you start with the answer, 20. You're going to divide them into four groups. How many are you going to have in each group? Five. Okay, last one on number one, nine times, 34, nine times four equals 36. We start with our answer in a division problem. 36 divided into four groups equals, how many are you gonna have in each group? Nine. You see how it's just a flipping? Multiplication and division are just the opposite of each other. Now in number two, it asks you to fill in the missing number, and this can be fairly easy, but this is also another form of division. You're doing the opposite. 3 times what number equals 12? You could also say 12 divided by 3 is how many? Yes, the answer is 4. Here we have what number times 4 equals 28. If you remember your 4's times table, you can do 28 divided by 4 is, very good, 7. Here we have what number times four equals 24. You could also say 24 divided by four is what number? Yes, it's six. Here we have eight times what number equals 32. We could, always, we could also say 32 divided by eight equals what number? This one's trickier, but it's still four. We're dividing by fours this lesson, so the answer is four. Oh, I forgot to give you the answer on this one. Okay, so if we have five times what number is gonna equal 20? Or we could say 20 divided by five equals what number? Yes, four, very good. Okay, last one, what number times four equals 16? Yes, very good. That one is four. Four times four equals 16, or 16 divided by four equals four. 